These are the best sniper loadouts in Call of Duty Mobile. DLQ is the best sniper in Call of Duty Mobile whether you are a movement sniper or a passive sniper. There is no denial that DLQ is the undisputed king. These are the best loadouts you should use for the DLQ. But there's something quite unusual here. And yes, I don't have the laser on my passive loadout. And you may wonder why. There isn't really a noticeable difference between having a laser or not. The difference is only by one frame. You'd need an eagle eye to notice that tiny difference. You're also benefiting yourself by not exposing your position to your opponents. This is extremely helpful when hard scoping or when you're in a tight situation like scrims or major tournaments. The amount of kills with quick scopes in a major tournament isn't really that many. Most of the kills are mostly from long range in a concealed position. So if you're a pro player watching this, consider removing the laser. It is a major help. The only time I recommend you to use a laser is if you are a pure aggressive sniper on search and destroy, a sniper that never hard scopes, or if you're gonna be respawn sniping. For the perks, lightweight is of course your best friend. Iron lungs is also a good perk if you're gonna be hard scoping for long periods of time. It takes almost 7 seconds with iron lungs equipped for the idle sway to take place. But for the green perks, this is where it becomes debatable. Toughness is the best by far if you're playing the pure SR main role where you will watch lanes, provide assistance to your teammates, and secure crucial long range kills. Almost every competitive sniper uses toughness for the reasons I've just said. Amp is the best if you're a movement based sniper, and I'm pretty sure everyone knows what Amp could do. Quick fix on the other hand could be a viable perk if you're a respawn sniper. For blue perk, of course, dead silence is the best. Every sniper main will always miss a shot, no matter how good you are. This is where secondary comes into play. 50GS and the new Elkar 9 are the best pistols you should use. If overall versatility is what you care about, 50GS is the best as it has an absurd 2 shot potential if you can hit your shots. Elkar 9 is a better option if you miss your quick scope in close range and you want a sure finisher. But even with the best pistol, melee is always better. And the best melee to use as a sniper main is the prize fighters. It's quick, it can hit a collateral, and it's not as noisy as the assault knife. If you're tired of being spoiled by the DLQ, then you can use my loadouts for other snipers. And the best thing to do after, if you enjoyed this video, is like and subscribe.